Hi everybody, it's Julie. I've been playing around with the Hip Hip Hooray stamp set by The Stamp Market. This is a really fun one with a lot of bold images you can use for making really quick, easy, cute birthday cards. And I thought it would be fun to share how I got this smoky, blown out candle effect here on the one with the little trio of candles. This is actually a recreation of a card I taught in a live class recently. So I'm gonna start out by taking some watercolor paper and you're gonna need watercolor paper to pull this one off. And I'm grabbing the long skinny candle in this set and I've got my paper positioned here where I think the center point is so I can move my paper from left to right. And I'm working on the original size Misty so I have enough room to move my paper to the left or to the right after I stamp the candle that's gonna go in the middle. I can move my paper about a quarter of an inch to either side and then get my trio of candles stamped and perfectly spaced apart. And they're all gonna be level and nothing's gonna be wonky. And another great thing about using the Misty here for this is with solid images and textured papers, it's hard to get a real crisp, clean impression. So you can re-ink and stamp over the exact same spot multiple times and you're gonna get a really nice full on impression. So now I grabbed an acrylic block and just threw the stripe detail on us on that separately and just stamped those with a contrasting uh, color to go on top of it. I think it's a really fun detail for these candles. They remind me of those candles that you buy, you know, at the grocery store to stick in your cake. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, while I've got the Misty here, I'm going to grab the sentiment and ink that up with some black. It's a two-part sentiment, so I could stack them and have them both centered. And using the Misty makes that a lot easier. I added a little bit of candle wick detail using a fine tip Sharpie. Or maybe it was a Pigma Micron, I forget. But anyway, now that I've got my candles complete, I'm gonna create that smoky effect. And I'm just using black Gonzai Tombi watercolors. These are from Kudetake Zig. And you just let the color fade out as you wiggle your brush back and forth. And it's just gonna fade out naturally. And it really does look like smoke. And you didn't even have to take any, you know, you didn't have to take a torch to the paper to get that effect. <laughs> So it looks all sooty and cool and I love it and I thought it'd be fun to share that. So I speed set it with my heat gun and then I went and wrote in the word belated because it seems like all the time my birthday cards are late. I never get them out the door on time and, and you get the joke. The candles are blown out because I'm late to the party. <laughs> So now I'm going to take my uh, A2 card here. This is made from Nina Solar White, 80 pound. I did trim off around the perimeter of that watercolor panel because I wanted to have a matte f effect when I mounted it. Just put some tape runner on the back and it's flush mounted. I like to give it a back rub on the back there so I don't run my hand through it and mess up all my pretty artwork. And then I grabbed some six millimeter star sequins in gold and using some on point glue there and the Marvia Cheetah jewel picker. This thing is awesome for grabbing those sequins. I don't know how I ever put sequins on anything before I got my hands on this tool. <laughs> it makes it so much easier. There you go. Card is finished. I got a little bit of bling there and a smoky candle effect. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.